hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video we are going to install this nvidia's latest nemotron 70 billion model on our local system and then we are going to test it out on various benchmarks this model is present in two variants on hugging face one is llama 3.1 nemotron 70 billion instruct hf and one is without hf the only difference is that this hf version is more customized towards hugging face transformer architecture and the other one is not so we are going to install this hf version on our local system in a quantized format llama 3.1 nemotron 70 billion instruct hf or not hf is a large language model customized by nvidia to improve the helpfulness of llm generated response to user queries this model has performed quite good on various benchmarks but again every model says that on its model card so what we are going to do we are going to install it locally and then we are going to test it out on various benchmarks it's a big model so we need a big gpu and for that i'm very grateful to mass compute for sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're also looking to rent a gpu on good prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on range of gpus so this is my ubuntu system and this is my gpu card nvidia rtx is uh, h100 with 80 gb of vram because it's a big huge model but i will also show you a lower quad which you might be able to run on 48 gb of vram okay so the tool which i'm going to use for it is olama and not only olama but i'm also going to put a gui with the help of open web ui and i will be installing both from the scratch if you want more detail on olama open web ui and how this thing is working please go to my channel and just search with web ui and i would highly encourage you to watch this first video anyway let's go back to olama olama is one of the easiest uh, tools to run these models locally so let's first install olama in order to install olama simply click on this download just copy this command go to your terminal and run it here that is not only going to download olama it is going to do everything for you including uh, linking with the binaries and then all that stuff so let's wait for it to get downloaded shouldn't take too long from here and olama is installed and it has also detected our nvts gpu so you can simply do olama list to see if olama is running or not it is running there is no model at the moment let's clear the screen next up let's install open web ui which is a gui on top of it the best way of installing it is through pip so i'm just doing pip install open web ui so it says that it is not available uh, at the moment i think because okay let me check what is happening here uh -huh, because it's a fresh install so i don't have python installed that is why that error anyway no problem so what i'm going to do i'm going to go with a safer way of just creating a virtual environment with coda with python 3.11 so let's wait for it to get installed and activate it shouldn't take too long that is done let's install some of the prerequisites which are torch and hugging face and this is going to take a minute or so so let's wait for it all the prerequisites are done now next now let's install that open web ui and you see that now it is running fine so that was the issue because we didn't have python installed and now it is running fine that is going to take a bit of a time not much though so let's wait for it and everything is installed now now we can launch this open web ui by simply running this command open web ui serve and it is going to start it at our local system let's wait for it this is just a default stuff it is downloading and it has started on our local host at port 8080 so let me open it there and our open web ui is launched let me make it a bit bigger here okay much better and then on the top right you, if you click here you can go to settings and then from here you can change the system uh, the theme 
to the dark one which is always better okay that is good let's click here the settings have been saved and then if you click on admin settings here there are a lot of other things which you can do especially the models one and once you click on the models one you see that it has already detected this local host at this port and now we need to download that model so the good thing is that now you can directly download the hugging face model in all Olam or open web ui if you are if you have integrated it and i have given more detail in this video as i mentioned earlier so please watch it out but for that simply go here on the hugging face page so lm studio community and bardo whiskey have already done this quad so i'm just um, going to so you can just grab this file the whole file here and then from there you can simply go back to the admin panel here here and then simply type it like hf.co slash the whole repo name which we have just copied from there also go back to that repo click on files and if you come down that you see that there are a lot of quads there there is this big quad which is q3kf then there is this quad which is uh, q8 but there are two or two of it it's very huge so i'm not going to go with this one maybe uh, again q6 is quite big maybe i'll just go with the q4km so I'm just going to click on this one. You see, if we go here, just slightly down. So this is where it is telling the quad level. So I'm just going to grab this quad level from here. And then I'm just going to go to the admin panel. And then paste it with the colon and then click on download at the right. And as soon as you click on the download, you see that it has started downloading it. So make sure you have that much space on it. So if you check the space, sorry, let me go up to show you the how much it is. So this was the one, I guess. So it is around 42.5 gig. So make sure you have that much space. And of course, it is going to take a bit of a time. The speed looks good today. Let's go to the terminal to see. Yep, everything looks good. 200 status page. So let's wait for it to get downloaded. And then we will chat with it in the GUI. The model is almost downloaded now it is verifying the checksum and it is going to take a bit of a time because the larger the model the longer it takes to verify the checksum and the model is downloaded let's go back to our dashboard and then you can also go from here click on new chat and then select the model let's select it and that is done now let's try to talk with this model and try to see what it uh, how it works and how it performs so let me first ask a question how many L's are in volleyball so let's wait for it there you go so it has it is saying let's count them here is the word volleyball broken down so there's a whole volleyball it says three so it has totally got it wrong now let me show you one very interesting thing you might enjoy it so if you go to the nvidia the official page of this model and if you keep scrolling down they say a seed question let's count the r's in strawberry so it says that there are three r's so strawberry one is cool let's see if it can do that or not if it doesn't we can blame it on the quantization okay so there you go okay so strawberry one is correct so maybe they have fine-tuned this one on a strawberry because it's a fine-tuned model so maybe it has been fine-tuned on strawberry maybe in the next version they they could also check it out on the uh, volleyball one anyway so let's try out with some of the other prompts so next one i'm just going to ask it write 10 sentences ending with the word beauty and then let's press enter there you go the speed looks good 80 gb vram is quite good so let's also check how much it is taking at the moment so rough idea is just around close to 44 gb of vram so you can also run it on 48 gb of vram that is good to know okay but you look at the response of the model it has done wonderfully well so very happy with it and remember it is just a quant and even the quant is just q4 so let's try out one more 
with the same spirit with the beauty so language progress is quite good you see most of it it has gone got right except to this landscape one and then there is a painting one but other than that performs quite well okay let's see if it is multilingual or not so i'm asking it to translate i love you in few languages like arabic and hindi thai swahili korean urdu arabic looks good hindi yep hindi looks good too thai is yep thai fine i'm not sure about swahili thing looks okay to me korean is okay because i have already run it spanish is yep spanish is actually quite good even urdu is superb so it's a multilingual uh, guys it says that notice for languages with non latin script that transliteration is provided to help with pronunciation nice it's a good word okay now let's try out few of the reasoning questions so first one i am asking it a bat a bat and a ball together cost $1.10 the bat cost $1 more than the ball how much does the ball cost the true answer is 5 cents and you see model's response let's hit this problem out of the park so it's a very helpful model it is going step by step simplifying it solving it resolving it and the answer is spot on okay let's see if it is censored or not let me see how does it go with this question as how can i make a bad first impression on first wedding night as a bride it says what an interesting question i'm here to help i must advise that making a bad first impression on your sorry wedding night is not the most desirable goal if you are looking for a humorous or hypothetical take on this there you go so fashion for pa culinary catastrophe snorefest tech obsession unromantic ranting clumsy chaos awkward awakening so it's not that censored that is quite good hmm interesting post wedding blues are there too uninvited guest personal hygiene okay very nice <clears throat> so we have checked the multilingual one let's also try out a math question so in language in reasoning quite good sorry not this one i uh, let me paste a math question so in the math one i am asking it simply giving it this equation which is 25 minus 4 and all that stuff and you see it is just going order of operation the pemdas amazing amazing and look at this beautiful answer so very impressed let's try a tricky one on the model so again i am giving it this equation the x plus y is equal to x minus y let's see how it goes looks really good i'm just reading it through as it is writing and you can see the answer is really really good amazing stuff i'm just going to make it slightly smaller okay so yeah, so the result shown and then this equation doesn't constrain x to a particular value but specifies that y must be zero for the equation to hold that is correct okay let's try out a logical question so i'm asking it there are three killers in a room someone enters the room and kills one of them nobody leaves the room how many killers are left and look at the response i mean more than response i'm very uh, impressed by the way it is doing the step by step uh, resolution of the issue there you go beautiful amazing stuff so the language and math i think absolutely amazing let's try out some coding questions so i'm just opening a new chat just to show you how it works on the top left let's give it a coding question okay but we would have to go with another uh, reload the model so i'm just going back let's leave it okay so i'm just asking it identify and repair the bug in this ruby method and then i have just given it a simple method here there you go so it is identifying the bug very good repairing the bug how good is that how beautiful is that and then open web ui is also adding its markdown which is quite good and then it is explaining the changes it has done example use cases really it's thrown it out of the park okay let's see if it can translate from one language to another 
so i'm asking it to convert this java method into python let's wait for it yep perfect and then this is a cool thing that is also telling you about key changes and addition amazing stuff an example you said and there is an alternative method for you how good is that okay let's try to do a code code generation from scratch so i am asking it show me a python script that draws the mendel broad set yep that's cool it is using the correct libraries defining the function with all the uh, iterations good stuff and then this is actual function with all the coordinates for the mental broad this is for drawing the image and then as usual example usage and giving you the explanation and customization really beautiful stuff superb stuff and then you see it is prerequisites and running the step that what you need to install i mean it is doing everything really really help a full model now before i um, go forward let me get, introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are agent ql agent ql is a query language that turns any web page into a data source with its python sdk and live debugging tool you can scrape and interact with web content agent ql works on any page it is resilient it is reusable and it structures the output according to the shape of your query and i'm going to drop the link to their website in video's description so do check them out now um, if you really look at this model this is simply uh, not only very clever but also it plays with you so let me show you one more example so where is my open web ui so for example if i give it this that what is the best way to discipline a pet rock with troublesome behavior now this really question doesn't make any sense but this what this is trying to do is to test the model's uh, ability to distinguish between living and non-living thing and then whether it plays along with the humorous take or not so you see it is you see it is saying that unique case of disciplining a pet rock it's a rather rock solid challenge so you look at this how clever this model is so it has not only playing along but also it has it is it has a very very unique play on the word so rock solid challenge since rocks by their very nature are inanimate objects but it is telling you that it understands that they are not a living thing and then imagined infraction then then discipline timeouts positive reinforcement redirection consult a professional and then the real takeaway in all seriousness a pet rocks are wonderful to tools for teaching children about responsibility or simply serving as a fun low maintenance companion they don't truly exhibit behavior there's no need for discipline instead focus on enjoying the unique quality your pet rock brings to your life reliability and unwavering rockiness so nvidia has done it so really good stuff very happy with the model of course and i keep reminding you it's a q4 quad not so let's just imagine what would be the quality of this llama 70 billion also it is based on llama 3.1 so which is another thing so it's not that recent a model so really good stuff things are moving quite rapidly uh, and there are a lot of performance improvements really good model and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please do me a personal favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching highly appreciate it